to Rabbit and Rose. I am Annie and I am in love with today's DIY. I think it turned out super cute. I think you're really great, really, really going to like it. It's right over here. Let me show you because you can hardly see it, but look at that. How pretty is that? It's a flower chandelier or a flower mobile, whatever you want to call it. But I love it. It is so dainty, so cute. And best part is that it's so easy to make, very inexpensive. You only need like four, maybe five things. So if you want to know how you can make your own, stick around. You're going to need silk or plastic flowers, wire. I have this one that is wrapped with bark and it looks kind of rustic. I really like it. You're also going to need scissors, ribbon, your hot glue gun with glue sticks, needle and thread. Select a few flowers and set them aside for later. Now with the wire, I made two intertwining circles. My circles had a diameter of eight inches, but if you're gonna make yours, you can make it as big or as small as you want. I lay out the flowers that I chose to be used on the chandelier and I arrange them around the circle, just, just making them look pretty, mixing the colors and of course adding some leaves to get a little bit of color and contrast. And then I glued everything to that circle, all around it, covering the wire entirely with flowers and leaves. I then cut three strips of ribbon. They're really long. I really didn't measure and the measurement of these it will just depend on the height of your ceiling. Um, I didn't measure mine, I just kind of eyeballed it. But I cut three and then I tied each end of the ribbons to the circle of flowers and I just made sure that I separate them at equal distance from each other. needle and pass it through the center of each of the flowers and then make a knot at the end. Maybe a triple knot or maybe sometimes four knots on top of the other. And just make sure your flower is hanging facing down. Some flowers have a large center opening like this one. So in that case I use a pearl um, that way the knot wouldn't go through the flower through that large center opening. So if you have the same problem, just use a bead or a pearl or anything like that that you have and it will actually make your flower extra pretty. So once I had all of my hanging flowers ready with the thread, I went ahead and tied them to the bottom part of that circle of flowers and I hang them at different heights. So it looks like a chandelier or a mobile and it looks so pretty, just tied them. I had eight or I think nine and I tied them all the way around at different heights and that is it. Hang it up and admire. Isn't it so pretty? I think it looks so cute and it can go anywhere. It will look really pretty also I think by a window. Super cute. So I hope you can make your own. If you do, I would love to know. Tell me in the comments if you have any questions, maybe something I didn't mention, but it is super easy to make. Thank you for watching. I hope you come back. If you like this video, like it, share it with your friends so they can make their own and most importantly, 
If you enjoy watching this video, don't forget to subscribe. If you do, this kiss is for you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!